Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are in Unit 2, Lesson 2 in our Everyday Math Journals. Uh, we are looking to find the area of rectangles. We're on page 37, and uh, before we begin, we should probably discuss what is the formula for finding the area of rectangles. Well, the formula for finding area goes something like this. Area equals the length of a rectangle times its width. Area equals length times width. That is true for rectangles. So when I am asked in number one, it says draw a rectangle with a length of five and a width of eight, I would approach it something like this. So. I'm going to count off five squares across, one, two, three, four, five, like so. And then I'm going to count eight squares down by creating an intersecting perpendicular line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I just join the lines like so. So this is my rectangle with a length of 5, we'll say 5 units, and so width of 8 units. Now when we are looking for the area of a rectangle, or the area of any shape really, what we want to know is what fills in the inside, the interior of that, of that shape. How much space does that rectangle take up? So basically, if I were to go through, and if I were to just count each and every one of the squares within this rectangle, that would give me the area. Now this is different than perimeter. Uh, something we learned about in Unit 1. Perimeter is a measure of the outside. So the way I like to think about it is if I was going to create a fence for a yard, I would need to know the perimeter. If I wanted to know how much grass seed to uh, use to uh, overseed my lawn, then I would need to know the area of that lawn. So the formula, like I said before, is length times width. So I'm just going to multiply... 8 times 5, or 5 times 8. Technically, 5 is the length, but with multiplication, uh, you can switch the uh, factors, and you'll still get the same product. 8 times 5. Well, I can skip count by 5s, and that tells me that I can get to 40. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. That is 8 groups of 5. And if I go to my uh, rectangle here, if I were to count each of these fives, this is five, this is five, this is five, and I repeat myself eight times, if I were to add all those fives together, that would give me 40. Okay? So the area of this rectangle is 40 square units. Now, not every problem that you're asked to solve for area is going to have that handy grid of squares to count. So knowing the formula is important. So let's take a look at problem number three. It gives you a, a drawing of a rectangle that is five centimeters long. Okay, so I'm going to put the five there. And it's three centimeters wide. So the equation would be the length times the width, or 5 times 3 equals the area. And as we all know, 5 times 3 is going to give us 15. So this, the, uh, the area of that rectangle would be 15 square centimeters, or 15 centimeters square. And that, my friends, is how we find the area of a rectangle. We just have to remember this formula. Area equals length times width. Okay, area equals length times width. If you have any questions about how to find the area of a rectangle, please reach out to your math teacher. Uh, otherwise, we will talk again soon. Thanks.